Welcome back everyone to another video on the channel and as you can see I'm holding my iPad now that means it's a techie video today and as you can see by the title you probably would already have known by clicking on this video that this is about notability and um, how I use notability at MedSquad and whether you guys should get it um, there are a lot of alternative apps out there for note taking and I'll make videos on each of them as well but uh, today we're going to be using Notability, which is the app I mainly use for notating. And um, we're going to be explaining why I use it, um, how you guys should use it, and whether you should get it finally. So before we get into the video, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get to 200 subscribers maybe by the end of March, would be nice. And um, yeah, would really appreciate if you guys could just hit that button down below. And we'll get to the video. Awesome, so we're out of the video now. Now this is the iPad, which I'm sure you guys have seen on my channel before. Now it's a iPad 7th generation, um, which is very basic. It's actually not sold anymore by Apple and they've moved on to the 8th generation iPad as their main iPad that they sell. However, Imperial um, have forked out the money to provide us all with iPad, which is lovely and very nice of them. They've also given us a cover, which is a Imperial College cover. Um, does the job really, um, I'm not complaining. It's a cover, you know, it protects it as well to some extent. We're gonna be speaking a little bit about notability. Now, Notability is the main note-taking app that I use. I'll talk to you guys about why I like it and exactly why you guys should be using it as well. So Notability, I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you've been on the search for note-taking apps to use at medical school, a lot of you guys will be familiar with Notability and potentially you'll also be familiar with other apps such as OneNote, uh, such as I know, GoodNotes and other sort of handwriting apps. Now, what I mean by handwriting apps, apps that you can use a Apple Pencil with, you know, a stylus almost. Now, you struggle to find apps that are perfect because, you know, the apps which are great at note-taking Taking, usually have a lot of functions, unfortunately aren't compatible with the Apple Pencil. So something like um, Evernote, although it is compatible with the Apple Pencil, it's not really a med school note-taking app that I would recommend. Notion obviously is a great note-taking app, however it doesn't have the Apple Pencil function, which is why it doesn't you know, do so well in that department. Notability is fantastic, obviously it doesn't have a lot of functions that you know your keyboard apps do, like Notion and Evernote, but you know it does a job for a writing app. So let's show you exactly what Notability is. So Notability, let's open it up first. Notability, now as you can see, Notability is a complex app to open up. So you've got a lot of things, let's break it down first of all. So you've got your little dividers and subjects here, and that's what they're called. So if you click on the plus sign, you get add subject and divider. Now these are two different things. Your subjects are your sort of group notes. So your very basic notes, which is pieces of paper basically, um, they are split into subjects. So for example, if I click on musculoskeletal and rheumatology, I get three notes, injury and healing, muscle and microstructure, and musculoskeletal introduction of the topic. So those are three notes that I've got. Now subjects are then divided into dividers. And dividers are almost like your college uh, notepads or your folders, you know, that you get. And that's what a divider is. A divider is the biggest sort of, I'd say, organizational level in notability. Um, you get a divider, then you get a subject, then you get notes. That's really the only three levels of organization notability has, but it's more than enough really. As you can see, I have my main branches of my curriculum here, all split up into their individual um, subjects and dividers. So my dividers are BRS, which stands for Bioregulatory Systems, POM, Principles of Medicine, CSI, Clinical Science Integration, uh, PCH, Patients, Communities and Hospitals, and LNAP, which basically are lifestyle modules, so things like public health, uh, eating well, um, you know, smoking, diabetes, all these things about lifestyle. So yeah, those are our five little topics in our curriculum. And interestingly enough, we're only actually tested on two of them in our end of years, our BRS and POM. Our CSI is tested throughout the year, tests pretty much every few weeks and PCH is tested with a presentation at the end of the year, LMAT is tested with a podcast at the end of the year. So it's pretty nice and diverse. Now, if we click on, for example, POM, which is the first one that we've done, um, I haven't actually got a lot of notes for POM, even though it might look like I have. And the reason for this is I only started taking notes by notability late on in the year, which means that I've got a lot of notes to catch up on, but I'm not gonna really go back to writing notes because that's a waste of time in exam revision. So what I'll do is I'll go through my flashcards and then any burning you know, notes that I've got to write down, otherwise I'll forget it, I'll then put that into POM. But for next year, it's a good thing to know that now I have this app for taking notes. So let's take a look at, for example, I don't know, hematoiesis. Hematoiesis is basically all about cells, uh, red blood cells, and uh, it's all about basically how they work, how they grow, um, abnormalities. And as you can see, I've got five notes. Two of them are unlabeled, which is bad behavior for me. Should really be labeling my notes. But however, let's go to one that is labeled. 
and blood transfusions looks uh, good, hematases looks good, hemoglobin looks good. Let's click on hemoglobin. It's a pretty uh, basic one, not much in it really, but it's good enough to show you guys exactly how notability works. So let's have a look at this. So as you can see, I've got hemoglobin in the middle, um, in a little cloud bubble, as you can see, and that's sort of the mind map that I use. I, as you guys know, I like to use mind maps. If you don't, um, have a look at my note taking videos. But hemoglobin was the note that I was, you know, making mind map out of. And as you can see, I've basically turned notability into my own sort of page or piece of paper almost. And what's really cool about this is it's very malleable and manipulative and sort of, uh, it's very open to your use. So let's have a look at the top row. So for example, T, you can see is for text. So you can actually type on notability, which is good in case you ever want to make sort of typing notes or need to copy and paste anything, which text you can. Um, if you just tap on the page, as you can see a text box comes up and you can literally write anything in. So for example, if I write on my pen A, um, the letter A will come up on the text and as you can see, it's very simple to use. And you know, if you've got a keyboard as well, you can just use a keyboard to type in as well. So that's what the text box is. And again, it's very simple. The only thing I will say is that it is composed of loads of different colors that you can select, loads of different thickness of pens. So for example, the smallest is this thin and the thickness is then this thick. So as you can see, it's vastly different sizes. Also the bottom sort of left-hand corner of this box shows the dashed lines and the straight lines. So you can see exactly the different kinds of lines we can do. And the difference between these two lines and two you know, thick lines is that one of them is pressure technology generated. So for example, this one will respond to how hard I press my pen on the paper. So if I press it really hard, you can see I get a thick line and the softer I press it, the thinner the line I get. The other one will not respond to pressure technology, it will remain thick. Um, even if I press it really hard, if I press it really thin, it will be just as thick. So, you know, that's all that is. In order to erase all these marks, you've got the eraser button here, which is also split into whole and partial. Whole means that it will remove the entirety of, you know, one single line that I've drawn. So, you know, from the minute I put my pen on the iPad to the minute I take it off, it will erase everything I've done on that. And uh, partial is basically like your standard eraser, you know, it will only erase whatever you make it erase. I like to use whole just because it's a lot quicker, obviously. However, in certain situations, I might need to, you know, um, use the partial eraser in case I'm coloring in something. So in those scenarios, I'll do so as well. And as you can see, again, on the eraser, you've got the thickness of the erasers available to you to select. Now, what else have you got? The arrow here is for undo. So you can see I'm undoing this. And if you hold down for a long time on the undo button, which it shows up as undo and redo. So if you undo, obviously you undo the action. And if you redo it, you can redo the action. So we redo and we can undo and you know it's very simple to use very much like microsoft these commands it's very easy and the other things we've got are the lasso selection so the lasso selection is basically like cropping a section now and it's one of the biggest features notability has now what that means is if you use notion as your primary note-taking source you obviously can't write on it so let's say you need to make a diagram that you want to you know write on let me make a diagram here Awesome. So as you can see, I've made a little diagram here on the top. Um, it's very basic and it's the sun and it's some blades of grass in blue with some highlights on the top. Now let's say I want to move this diagram to Notion or to Evernote or something like that. All I need to do is select the lasso option and it's basically like crop. You can select a round lasso or a square lasso and you just draw a line around it and anything inside of it will be cropped and taken out. You can move it, you can, you know, hold down on it and it will save as a picture or what you can do is you can circle around it and you can change the size of it so you can see you can make it really small you can also make it quite large and you can move it around you can rotate it and it's a really nice feature to have in case you're making a mind map um, so for example all these diagrams i've made i might want to change the dimensions of them i might want to move them somewhere else and this lasso function is really helpful in doing so what i haven't explained which i should have probably explained earlier on is the highlighter function which is also really cool um, again varying thickness you can get dashed lines you can get um, pressure technology lines and you can get any color you want um, my highlighter however the only interesting thing to say is that when you highlight something and if you highlight over it again you get a darker shade which is really cool in case you want to shade anything in so i've highlighted once let me shade over it again as you can see i'm getting a darker shade and the more i highlight over it the more darker a shade i'll get and you know it keeps going keeps going keeps going so again that might be a valuable thing for you guys if you want to spend more time drawing on it or shading in things it's a useful thing to know about the next two things are the hand option so the hand option is very much to make sure that in case you're using an Apple Pencil, you can move the page around without you know, it detecting it as a pen and making any marks on the page. 
it basically replaces your pen as a hand. So that's really useful in case you're in a situation where you want to use your pen as your hand. With the notability, what's really cool is, even if you leave it on pen, if you use your finger, it won't detect it as a pen. It will only detect your pen or your Apple Pencil as a pen or marker. But you know, in the situation that you don't want to use your hand, and you can just touch the hand button and you can move the page around um, per normal. So what's the final thing? Well, this is relatively new actually. Um, this is called a laser tail. And a laser tail is basically like what you get in Microsoft PowerPoint to present things. So if you want to present something again, you can use a laser tail and you can hold your laser tail, for example. And it's basically like a laser pointer that you get at school. You know, the ones that the annoying people used to put in your eye. It's cool because if you're presenting something in notability or if you're doing some revision and you don't want to make any marks on it, um, you can, you know, put your laser out and, you know, you can hold your laser pointer. So in this sense, it will hold the laser and it will show all the marks it makes until you sort of let go and then it'll fade away, which is really cool. Or if you don't want to hold your laser trail, you can click off that and then what will happen is um, it's like a normal laser. You can point and direct things and yeah, it's really cool. And that's a relatively new feature that's coming to Notability. So as you can see, they're very open to new ideas and that's what's really good about Notability, I think. They give you a lot of things that you want. So any feedback Notability you get, they usually put it in pretty quickly, which is pretty cool. The dictation function is also there. So for example, if you tap it and you know, we would just say, and you can record anything you're saying. So let's start recording now. So this is a audio recording function, which allows you to record the voice of anybody you're listening to or hearing while you're writing any notes down, for example, from a video or from a audio podcast. And it means that you can easily record things. Tap the button again, and you've got a recording stored. What is really cool about Notability is you can edit your recording. So for example, if you tip the settings button, you can click note replay. So you can see your notes animate with audio. So that's really cool. So for example, you're recording a long lecture and you want to see your notes being written while the lecture goes on. You can see that, which is really awesome. You can also see an animation preview. So you can see a preview of any animations you put into Notability during the recording. You've got equalizer, so you can adjust the frequency of the left, right, or both. You can also see a voice booth, so it can amplify voices recorded from a distance. So for example, you're recording a voice recorded far away. You can amplify the sound, which is really cool, I think. And it's just really helpful. So it's a really good thing to have in case you need it. You can also delete your recordings if you actually record something, obviously, which is easy. And you can also merge recordings together. So if you don't know what that is, if you get two recordings and you put them together, they'll play on top of each other. And that's really cool, I think. What else have you got? Well, you've got the add button, which basically adds any sort of photos, any camera. So if you want to take a photo of something, um, let's say, let's take a photo of myself right now and you want to put that onto Notability, you can just add that photo in, it's really easy. Or what you can also do is you can um, scan a document, add any GIFs in, you can add a web clip, a sticky note, literally anything on Notability, which is really cool. And um, you can also um, have the option to change the paper layout. So if you want to change color of paper or how many lines it has or make it no line at all, you can do anything you want to in that sense. And also you can change the view so it can be seamless. Or if you want to write on a single page of A4, limit yourself maybe if you're practicing for the BMAP, perhaps, good idea. Um, you can make a single page. Finally, you can see an overview of all the pages, any bookmarks, and you can also search through Notability, which is already cool, I think. And um, you can identify your handwriting and, you know, find within your handwriting certain words so it has handwriting recognition, which is also a very important thing to have when you're writing notes. And yeah, that's everything in terms of how to make the Notability, you know, the best app that you can use. You've also got loads of other functions like the magnifier button, you've got, you know, the favorites on the side, you've got, for example, the option to change the title as well. And, you know, that's really all the Notability is. There are obviously a lot more things that you can do with Notability, but I recommend you guys check it out yourself. That's very basically a simple tutorial into Notability. And the reason why you should get it is because it's, as you can see, there are so many functions. It's virtually like a piece of paper. You can add anything you want to it. You can remove anything you want. You can add recordings. You can identify your text. You can identify handwriting. Um, literally anything that you want is there. You can add GIFs, camera, scans, um, photos. You can import PDFs. You can import PowerPoints. Anything you need to do from a note-taking point of view can be done on Notability. You better believe that it can be done on Notability. So I'd really recommend you guys go for it. It's so cheap as well for the things that it can do. It's only about seven pounds, which is brilliant. Um, it may have increased from nine pounds since recording this, but it is brilliant. This isn't a sponsored video either. So I'm genuinely just telling you guys how amazing Notability is. Um, it's a really good deal. And um, I'd highly recommend you guys go for it and snap it up. 
So that's Notability, guys. Hopefully it was a useful video for you to listen to. If you've got any other questions about note-taking apps and you want to see more of it, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Awesome. Peace.